I want to show you the next couple of tools in Pixlr that are going to allow you to improve um, any photograph. And just so you know, uh, I'm at home on my Mac here, so things are going to look a little bit different. Uh, for example, the tools on the left side of the screen on your Chromebook are most likely going to be in two columns. For me, they're in this one long column. They're the same tools. They're just going to be in slightly different places. So pay attention to what the tool looks like rather than where exactly it is. Um, and the first tool we're going to look at is going to allow me to uh, touch up this photo so that we can um, take away the moles on the girl's left cheek there on the right side of the photo. And she also wants to see what she would look like without braces. So we're going to help her out with that. Um, so to do that, we're going to find the tool called the heel tool, which is uh, used with the, the keyboard shortcut, which is just an H, or you can click on it. It looks like a little Band-Aid. doesn't matter how you do that. And when you first uh, bring up the heel tool, um, you're going to have two different options, patch or infill. And we're going to keep it as patch. And most likely when you first open it up, the size is going to be up around 50. Um, and we're definitely not going to want it to be that big. And I'll show you why in just a second. Now, if you just use the heel tool by itself on these moles, it's going to kind of get messed up. It's going to look like she's got some uh, cuts on her face there. So I'm going to undo and get that back. Before I do anything, I'm going to go over here to the navigate area. And I'm going to click on this slider and drag it to the right so I can zoom in and get closer to those moles. Now notice how big my brush is, that big circle there, way, way too big. So that's why I said you want to go to your size. And I'm going to drag it down to about 20. You could also just type in 20 in this box. And here's how the heel works. You um, click on the center of an object that you essentially want to remove. And it will sample the colors around that object and basically replace the different color with the colors around it. So in this case, I click on the mole and the mole magically disappears. I can click on this other mole here and it's gone. And this one's a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna make my brush size even smaller. I'm gonna take it down to about 10 and I'm gonna click on that mole and it's gone too. Very nice. Uh, now, as far as the braces go, this won't be nearly as easy to do with the heel tool. Uh, so I could, I could take the brush down. I'm gonna go even smaller, make this size eight. And I could click on the braces here, but it really just kind of kind of blurs them. It doesn't look all that great because there's two different colors um, with the tooth and then the gums above it. Now, when I zoom out, well, you can still definitely tell that there's something there on her teeth. So I'm going to undo that and bring the braces back. And back to, there we go. All right, and instead, I'm going to use the tool for me. It's directly below the heel tool, and it's called Clone. And it says if you can draw and copy from, an, uh, from other areas in an image. And this is really an amazing tool. The keyboard shortcut for this is S. Um, and you can see that in your options here, you've got Paint and Source. Okay, and now on my Mac, it says Shift. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be the, the same thing on your Chromebook or not. But basically, what you do is you, you hold Shift. Um, and you click on what you want to sample, okay? So in this case, I just sampled her cheek and, and that exact area of the cheek, this whole area right here. So now, if anywhere that I click, it's going to give me that same exact area of her cheek. And if I click and drag, and I don't suggest that you do this, it's going to eventually redraw that whole section of her face. And that's really weird. So we don't do that. We don't click and drag. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my brush really, really small. Take that down to five here. And I'm going to shift click on one of her teeth, like towards the bottom of her tooth. Then I'm going to go up to where the braces are, and I'm just going to click a few times. I'm not clicking and dragging, but I'm clicking a few times where the braces are. And notice it's replacing what was there with that area of her tooth that I sampled. So again, we don't want to click and drag because you're going to eventually end up redrawing her face. And that's really, really weird. So instead, we just do a, a regular single click. And then you could go all the way back if you wanted to. And as her mouth gets a little bit darker, you could resample by clicking a darker part of her mouth. 
and then getting rid of the teeth up there. And then eventually, if you zoom out, certainly you can tell that their teeth are a little bit off, but um, you don't see the braces anymore. That's for sure. Now, if I switch over to an, another image, got this kid with his uh, definitely whiter teeth here. I can zoom in and I can do that same process. So I hold shift and I click on what I want to sample. And then I just keep on clicking. In this case, I might want to make the brush a little bit bigger. But look at that. I'm just drawing right over top of his teeth, of his braces rather, with the color of his teeth. But you don't want to click and drag because that will mess everything up. And if I zoom out now, I definitely could uh, do a better job of, uh, of picking a lighter part of his tooth, but you can definitely see that uh, it's, it's covering up the braces. So not perfect, but definitely going to help. So that's the heel tool and the clone tool. Uh, now I also wanted to show you a couple other quick tools. Um, and I'm, to do that, I'm gonna go back to this freaky doll from before. And the next tool is the eraser tool. And for the eraser tool, it looks like a little rubber eraser. The keyboard shortcut for that is an E. And it does exactly what you would expect it to do. It's going to erase parts of the image. <laughs> now, it doesn't erase the, the white background here um, because what's behind there is just empty white space. Um, so that's not going to do anything. But if I click on her eyes, well, she no longer has eyes. Or if I want to make her have a less tall head. I could do that. Um, so this would be useful. I go into one of these images and I want to get rid of this background here. And do that. And then just with, as with anything, um, you can change the brush size. You can also change the shape of the brush. Usually when I'm using the eraser, I'll use one of these, um, <clears throat> almost looks like it's glowing. They call that a feathered brush or a soft brush. And I could go in and it, it just gives it a little bit less of a harsh um, edge to it. And you'll see that a lot in uh, <laughs> in in clickbait for, uh, for YouTube videos. But now, uh, if I were to copy this image and put this somewhere else, so let me do exactly that. I'm gonna select all and copy, and go over here. Um, I can just use the wand tool and I can get rid of that white space and then, um, I can free distort this, or free transform rather, and <clears throat> put him right there in that picture too. Now he's missing part of his head, so that's a problem. Um, but you can see like the background has been mostly removed. And if I wanted to make that better, I could certainly zoom in and get closer to his head. Uh, but that's how you can remove parts of an image using the eraser. And then back to that um, doll picture, uh, there is the paint bucket tool, which is a little bit further down. Um, that, or I'm sorry, they, they changed it to fill now. It used to be, I, I call it the paint bucket still, but it's a fill color. Um, keyboard shortcut for that is F. And if you click on that and you choose a color, so I'm going to choose this nice color here, and then you click on an image, it will take any solid color and it will fill it in with that image. So this only worked because I've got this white background here. This isn't going to work as well if I click on the shirt or if I went to this image and I clicked on him or if I went to this image and I clicked on her, it's not going to work as well. It's only useful for solid colors. So we want to be careful about how we use the paint bucket or the fill color tool. Um, so if you have a solid color and in this case, the, the white, and you want to change it to a different color, you wouldn't use color replace in that case. You would instead use the paint bucket or um, as it's labeled, the fill color tool. So those tools will definitely come in handy in the Pixlr Tools Challenge. Um, please let me know if you have any questions about those while you're working.